Hello there. Gonna take a swig of water. Oh. Good evening. Oh, feels so good. Feels so good sitting down. Had kind of a melancholy feeling day today, and I don't know why, and it was especially this afternoon. Uh, I'm, uh, my name's Ken Tracy, and I'm coming at you from uh, Na Yellowstone National Park, uh, where I moved a couple weeks ago from all that I knew in uh, the sh western suburbs of Chicago, uh, where my, I have two ex-wives and four beautiful children, and a whole bunch of friends and family that live in the area. And I was given an opportunity uh, to work in Yellowstone for the season and uh, uh, stay in a dorm and live a different life and uh, live in a, a really beautiful spot in the world. But it's been a lot of uh, changes over the last couple weeks. And uh, I have the day off today and I have a, the day off again tomorrow. Uh, and I decided to, uh, ride my scooter into, I'm doing well, Jack. How are you? Uh, ride my scooter into Montana. And I rode my scooter from Chicago to here. It was a distance of about 1500 miles. So I thought, Hey, uh, I wanted to go to Bozeman, Montana, which was about 85 miles from where I'm staying in Mammoth, uh, hot springs in uh, Yellowstone park, uh, rode my scooter. I uh, didn't probably get started as early as I should have and was watching uh, the clock tick by on my scooters. I'm riding away from where I live and uh, realizing that if I went to Bozeman, I'd probably get there at four o'clock or so and be eyeballing maybe a, I don't know, a three hour uh, ride home. And uh, um Anyway, so I cut my uh, day short, my ride short, and ended up staying in Livingston. Uh, went to Starbucks. It was the first Starbucks I'd seen in three weeks. Went to a bar, had a burger and a non-alcoholic beer. Uh, but started feeling tired and realized I had a you know a fairly long ride home. Uh, you know, a couple hour ride home, that, or at least hour and a half, at least uh, sixty plus miles on my scooter. And uh, by the time I got back, I was feeling kind of blue, feeling kind of tired, feeling kind of uh, out of it a little bit and debated uh, uh, hopping on and uh, doing my second <laughs> yoga class for beginners. And I decided to because, uh, I don't know, it always makes me feel good. Working out always makes me feel good. And uh, going live also makes me feel good because I was just able to get this stuff off my chest and uh, so I'm going to do a real easy yoga class today. And again, I'm not an instructor. I did take yoga for about 10 years, but I haven't really done much of it over the last uh, few. And I'm a 55-year-old guy uh, who enjoys working out, enjoys staying fit, enjoys improving himself and working on working his body and his mind. And I uh, just wanted to hop on, show you where I'm at today. Uh, again, in Yellowstone, uh, which is just a beautiful, beautiful place. And I'll tell you what, I had an incredible ride uh, through the mountains today uh, with the mountains on both sides and snow capped and just through Montana. And it was just gorgeous. Uh, it was everything I, I kind of expected. But despite of that, uh, I uh, again, I left my kids back in Chicago. I think uh, I miss them more than I... Uh, I mean, I knew I'd miss them, but I think today's tough. And I have a one and a half and three year old uh, that I miss a lot. And I FaceTime twice a day and my ex-wife's holding the phone and we're chatting and I just feel kind of isolated a little bit. And it kind of made me sad on the ride home. Uh, so I uh, thought I'd do some uh, really easy uh, stretching and breathing and maybe a little bit of talking as well. And uh, you could join me if you want, or you could just listen to me ramble on, or you could change the channel if you want. It's all good by me. And uh, that's kind of a yogic attitude, if you will. Uh, basically, it's all good. So I'm going to, uh, what am I going to do? I'm going to start by standing up and uh, 
go through kind of a typical, again, I just do a series of simple poses. Uh, no great rhyme or reason, but I'm going to do it really gentle. Yesterday was my first yoga for beginners class, and I uh, ended it with push-ups, sit-ups, and a plank position. Uh, again, I'm feeling a little melancholy. There's two ways you can handle it, and I'm going to handle it the easy way uh, by being gentle to myself and uh, be appreciative of the body I have and the energy I have and the effort I'm putting in uh, to the workout uh, tonight. And it doesn't take uh, great feats to accomplish great things all the time. It takes great consistency. And uh, consistency one wins, uh, beats spectacular on, done on occasion, you know, nine times out of 10. And uh, I'm pretty consistent, so I'm gonna uh, just do a little stretching. And again, I just like to start by uh, kind of standing straight up, getting your shoulders thrown back a little bit and swinging your arms up. Oh. And then kind of bring them into a prayer pose. Again, I was sitting on a scooter for three of the last five hours or maybe four of the last six. Oh. And my butt and legs are kind of sore. Each movement I exaggerate a little more than the last one. Oh. And again, this is gonna be a really, really easy workout. It's not, you know, it's just something to get your, my mind off my uh, missing my kids or my sore butt or uh, maybe missing my hometown a little bit. And again, just, I think if you can get your feelings and your thoughts on your body and out of the six inches between your ears. You're more likely to have a good day. I'm going to kind of hang here. Roll it back up. Again, just kind of loosening up my whole body. I'm not going to have any aggressive positions. We're not very aggressive, at least. <sighs> it's gonna be a lot slower work or easier workout than last night because <laughs> we're skipping the plank, the push ups, and the sit up. Even God rested on the seventh day, <laughs> so I can certainly rest as well. One more of these. I think it's gotten warmer here in Yellowstone the last few days. Oh. Oh. Kind of walk it out, flop the shoulders a little bit. Take the left hand and grab the right wrist and kind of pull it to the side and feel your whole side body open up and your shoulders open up got issues with my shoulders so it, I like to think it feel it's good for me to do this I hope that it is kind of reverse it to the other side I like a lot of people have a tendency to kind of hold my breath into pain or intense moments or when I'm nervous or scared. And I think it's good to catch yourself doing that and try and breathe into it as much as you can. Uh, whether it's, I don't know, a uh, argument you're having with a loved one or a stressful time at work or a uh, uh, challenging uh, yoga position, I think it's important again to breathe into the difficult times. And uh, right now we're just gonna do an easy side plank again with the left foot kind of uh, stabilizing the body, lowering the, uh, or bringing my right leg down to about, you know, perpendicular to the ground. 
forearm on the leg and oh, bring the arm over and turn your chest skyward as much as you can. I'm not that flexible, so I can't approach skyward, but I see some really practiced yogis that can do a bigger twist than me for sure. But again, it's not a competition. It's not what I do or what the masters do. It's just about, you know, working towards something and getting a little better. I go into the Trigonasana. I move my hips to the, uh, my left hip to the left, kind of pendulum my arms down. It's a little more aggressive position than the uh, side angle. Feels so good. It's always been my favorite yoga position. Should probably have this leg straight, but Believe me, I'm getting a good stretch on it already and a good twist in the body as well. <sighs> Whew. Go to the other side, using my right foot as a kind of something to push against. Get the left leg kind of close to perpendicular and bring the right arm over. And again, twist. Such a beautiful day. We got a gentle breeze. Last half hour or so of sun. Before the sun goes behind the mountains. Maybe if I time it right, we'll end with a nice sunset. I don't know. Again, Trigonasana on this side. Bring it down. Open up and try and breathe into it. I like to hold these positions for 10 seconds or so. No real rhyme or reason. Figure 10 is more than five and less than 15. So it kind of makes sense. Now we're gonna do a warrior one pose, uh, which is again, kind of same position with your left foot and left leg. And again, but you, this time I have my right leg going forward perfectly towards the sun, which is kind of cool. And, uh, Lower down, get a little flex in the back leg and a little flex in the right quad and then crank the arms up and lean back and kind of raise your chest to the sun. Feels really nice. Straighten it out. <laughs> it's easy to fall over in yoga because yoga is a nice mix of strength, flexibility, and balance. And uh, again, it's easy to fall over. And if you don't ever fall over in life, maybe you're not pushing yourself hard enough. As I say often, the key is getting back up. I'm just going to lean over my right knee right now. Just get a little stretch in this hamstring. Focus on just the tightness and the feel and the breath. And again, I'm doing this practice by a road and cars are gonna be passing now and again. You can get uptight about the noise or whatever, the distractions, or can you, you can use it as an opportunity to, you know, practice your focus and maybe focus in on the sound it makes and create a deeper meditative feeling. Uh, now we're gonna do a, a uh, warrior two, this is called. The first one was a warrior one. Get a little deeper on this, a little bigger splits. Put your shoulders back and spread your fingers to the horizons. And again, breathe as best you can. Then you reverse your warrior. Oh, and that feels so good. It feels so good. Now we go to the other side. <laughs> during the summer months when it gets hot here, if I do this practice during the day, I might do it with my shirt off. So I'm hoping to get in decent shape between now and then. Gonna have to work on my diet a little bit and maybe <laughs> up my uh, exercise as well. But we'll see. Or we just won't worry about it. Again, we're gonna do go into uh, Warrior One 
right leg is a base, uh, foot pointing that way away from the sun, get low, get a little stretch in the groin and kind of flex in the uh, left quad. And this time I'm raising my chest and my arms to the mountain, which it lays to the east. Feels so good. Again, I had practiced yoga pretty consistently for about 10 years and uh, kind of got away from it over the last few. I uh, do really enjoy it. Gonna just kind of lean over our left leg, getting that stretch in this hamstring. We'll go into yoga two, and, or excuse me, warrior two. Like to go a little wider for this. Looking out over the left fingers. Again, opening the shoulders and your chest a little bit. Extending your arms to the horizons. Reverse the warrior. Oh, that feels so good. That might compete with Trigonasana for my favorite position. I think I was slouched over on my bike the last three or four hours. Feels good to open up the side bodies. Oh. 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 Let me see. Uh, kind of wiggle. <laughs> There's no real reason to wiggle, but it feels kind of good. Gonna go into a downward dog on each side. Move my mat a little closer, because I miss you guys. And again, downward dog is one of the, uh, you know, most common, I guess, positions. You curl your toes underneath, you push up, you lift your butt to the sky. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but you're kind of creating a V with, between your legs and your upper body with your butt at the bottom and you let your head hang. Again, I was saying this was hard when I first started yoga, but... They always called it a rest position. I never thought it was resting till recently. Lift my leg up, my left leg, do a little twist. Oh. oh, that feels good. And then pull it through for a pigeon pose. So I kind of have a right angle with my leg. Be careful if you have a knee issue. Uh, I'd rather you be gentle and be able to practice tomorrow then be aggressive and tweak something and be out opens up your hips and the instructor always instructors always say yeah hold your emotions in your hips and butt and uh again i felt kind of emotional today so this feels good oh bring it out that wasn't the most graceful way to bring it out twist it around a little bit Ugh. got a crack in my hip go to the other side lift up the right leg open it up hold for a few seconds and then pull it through and gently, because I got I do have issues with my right knee. <sighs> this is a position you can hold for an extended period of time. We're doing kind of an easy practice, but it's a great, you know, the longer you hold it, you have gravity pulling your weight down on your and uh, enhancing the stretch. Kind of loosen up the hip again. I'm gonna go to the back real quickly, then we'll wrap it up for you. Uh, just gonna lay on my back, do what's called the happy baby pose. You grab your feet, kind of bring your shoulders down to the mat and just breathe.
perfect temperature for practicing tonight. A oh. couple gentle twists. Bring the left leg over. Use your arm to bring it closer to the earth. Have your chest pointed skywards and my left arm is a couple inches off the ground, but parallel. Oh. Oh. Now go the other side. Oh, <laughs> I groan and I'm sure it sounds funny, but I really mean it. Got a good crack in the back. And every time you breathe, it gives, it enhances the stretch just a bit. So it feels real good. Oh. 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 Now we're gonna go to the best position in all yoga. It's called Shavasana. Not sure exactly what that means, but the yoga instructors would often call it dead corpse pose. And you lay with your palms faced upwards, kind of get your shoulders back and your chest out a little bit. Shut your eyes and just breathe. It's a good chance to meditate. Just listen to the sound of your breath or the sound of my voice. You know, if you could do this for five minutes at the end of every practice, it'd be five minutes well spent. But since we're just doing it for a yoga for beginners, I'll be silent for about 30 seconds. Then we'll finish up. Start wiggling your fingers and your toes, rubbing the thumb over your fingertips and twisting your ankles and your wrists. Pull your arms over your head, twist to the right or turn to the right or lean to the right or what have you. Go the other way. Oh. Pull up. Again, being really gentle. Because, <laughs> hello, ladies. Again. How are you? Good. How was your run? Oh, it's, it's a walk now. <laughs> well, you inspired me by going on your run to practice a little yoga. Woo! Great job, Great ladies. Job. A couple ladies I work with. <sighs> Take a few deep breaths. Have your chest out and your shoulders back a little bit. Raise your arms up. Oh, bring it through. I like to think of something I'm grateful for when I do this position. Usually when I wake up in the morning, I'm not, you know, always in the best of moods. And uh, think of the things I'm grateful for uh, always helps turn my mood around. Uh, so let's do it one more time. And honestly, I am grateful for the beautiful weather, the beautiful scenery, the beautiful sunshine. Uh, but most of all, uh, tonight, I, uh, uh, I'm grateful for you guys uh, for hopping on, uh, doing uh, something a little different. Again, I go live every morning and uh, talk about life and what's fun about doing my own show and not really being too concerned uh i don't know with anything i guess is i can kind of do what i want and uh 
uh, uh, kind of just have some fun with it. And uh, I hope you're having uh, uh, some fun today. And I hope you're smiling and I hope you're feeling gratitude and I hope you're working your body and being kind to yourself and generous to your soul and you're listening to this more than you're listening to this and following your heart and uh, just getting a little better every day. So one more stretch. Again, thank you so much for joining today. I hope you're doing well. I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful week. Uh, Yeah, namaste, Casey's General. I hope you're feeling good, loving yourself. And as always, I hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.